Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Before Fridays. And uh, this week, uh, I'm over 93 from both games. And this week, we are going to go through the tech profile of this week's uh, Wednesday's uh, War Paladin Blasters vs Genesis Top Fight Wednesday video. Uh, the War Paladin deck Blasters deck profile. So, this post EBO6. So, um, I'm playing the Blasters deck, which is the uh, Masonic Rob Blaster. But um, the Alfred deck is more consistent. This deck is just for fun. So if you want that kind of meta deck, so I think you got to. Yeah, um, I think a lot of other YouTubers did it very well. So I'm not going to do that profile. So I'm trying to make a. Uh, a fun little blasters deck to play. Now. So this deck is all about the blasters. Uh, the starter is blind. Uh, so you have four assigning not blasters. This is your main grade three. So skill is uh, continuous. If you have six different kind of blasters on the field, you get to gain their uh, power and critical. So uh, you'll be about 60-70k with six crit. So if your opponent doesn't guard with a perfect guard, most probably he died, he, he's, he's dead now. Uh, and the next uh, uh, skill is when you drive check a blaster, you can call it onto an open rearguard circle. Think note, it's an open rearguard circle and any blaster. It, it doesn't need to be a different unit. Yeah, so you can call any unit, any blaster unit. So only four red trees, because there's another kind of red tree. Uh, I'll get to that later, so I'll play 3 Escopet. So, 3 Escopet uh, is for... Yeah, it's because Blaster basically, so I play 3. But it's also because uh, if you really cannot finish the opponent, this guy finishes your opponent also. Escopet is the same as last time. So, you, uh, when plays, you can blast 1, remove for a soul, except for 1 card, and you battle all your opponent's unit. Yeah. Uh, and uh, at the end of the battle, attack you uh, retire it choose a blaster blade from a soul to ride it as stand if you cannot ride blaster blade you lose oh yeah you need to put two cards in the soul from here uh, next is two arc saver so this is the other glitch I'm talking about so skill is uh, uh, in on venga or on hand in hand if you if you have three different kind of blaster units on your vanguard circle and drop zone, so maybe one on the Vanguard, two in the drop zone. Different kind of blasters. This card is great three. Yeah. So you can write. Uh, so you can have a blaster blade in the soul, let's say. Blaster blade as your Vanguard. Two in drop, two different blasters in drop zone. You write this as great three. But right as you write, right, right when you write it, it becomes great four. So uh, regarding to the last week's uh, Sambaku deck profile, Zamaku cannot stop him. Yeah. So, uh, of course, it's a great for you. Unless you get more blasters in your soul, it becomes a great tree again. Yeah. So, the other skill is uh, when placed, you can blast 3, so blast 3. You can call up to 1 blaster, uh, call up to 3 blasters. 1 blaster from your soul, 1 blaster from deck, 1 blaster from dog zone, 1 blaster from damage zone. 4 different places, you can call up to 3, 1 of each. And, uh, yeah, to make a circle. But the problem is uh, when you count blast, you cannot call the count blaster unit because face down cards don't have names. Yeah, so you cannot call the face down ones. So essentially, essentially it heals for you, but it doesn't come to charge. Yeah, so you can only heal the uh, open uh, open count blast. Yeah, so this is my great trigger form. So next is uh, since the whole deck is blaster, so most of the cards are blaster units. So let's see for blaster blades. I like this art, the full art version, so, uh, and it was quite cheap at the time, so I got all four. So, Blaster Blade skill, I guess everybody is very familiar with. Uh, on Vanguard Circle, you have four Moria Guards, Vika Plus One. Uh, when plays, come Blast so Plus One, retire one of your opponent's front row Rear Guards. Yeah, I got this wrong last time, I thought it was Rear Guards, so I retired the back row, and someone stopped me, you know, I learned my mistake. So yeah, it's a front row regard. Next is a uh, Misaki. 
Oh, it's a Blaster Rapier. So Blaster Rapier skill is if you have six units with Blaster in their card names, so six different units, uh, you know, six different Blaster units, uh, you get power plus five thousand. Uh, 15,000, 15,000, sorry. So, uh, the, the, the condition only satisfy if you satisfy the one sign it, not master one. Uh. So, by the time your opponent already, already die, uh, basically. So, not much of a use, but, uh, unless, uh, unless he guards. So, if he guards, then you can get this off. Then the next skill is uh, auto. Oh yeah, the continuous doesn't only work on your turn, it works on your opponent's turn as well. So it's a 25k base on your opponent's turn. Next is uh, auto on Mega Circle when it attacks a Vanguard. If you have a Vanguard with Blaster or Arc Saver in his card name, basically you do the OTT stuff. You look at the top card, put top or bottom of the deck. Yeah. So this uh, OTT in, um, in uh, Royal Balding. Next is the Gold Balding. So not sure which part is it go but yeah. So uh, if you have six units with blaster, this blaster arrow. So if you have six units with blaster in their cut in their different cut names, okay. So with these six different blaster units, they cannot be chosen by your opponent's effects. So note this is choose choosing. So if your opponent is Kagero, the common cut Chimera, it chooses three units, retires the rest. If it doesn't choose, because it cannot be chosen, uh, your op your units cannot be chosen, so they choose zero, you've got to retire all. Yeah, so this is actually uh, the pros or cons. Uh. So, yeah, but I use this not for that 6 blaster unit skill, it's for the. It's, it's basically just to fill out the blaster names. Uh. So, uh, the other second skill is quite bad. I assume it's just to make sure you don't miswrite so you get the right uh, you if you have three or more types of blaster on the field uh, so when you place this card so counting it uh, three different times you can discard a card from my hand search up the one arc saver and uh, keep uh, put it in your hand so it's uh, in case you are a great start you can use this but um yeah uh, in the video you saw me using Three arc saver, I think. Yeah, I reduced the ratio. Uh, Corinne also, I had. Uh, last time I wrote, I had three. I, I increased it. This one also. Uh, from three, I decreased it because. Uh, yeah, having this as your Vanguard not really very powerful, so not worth the spacing. So next is your Great Ones. So Great Ones, uh, in order to fill the Blaster's name, they fall Blaster Dagger. What's the dagger skill? Uh, this is the Shingo one. So dagger skill is you have six different kind of buster you need this the all get boost. So because there are only two kinds of buster grade one. So in order to fill your back row with blasters, uh, one of them has to be a grade two, grade three, or grade four. So uh, you will get boost if you have six different kind. Then uh, your attacks become more powerful. Next one is if your Vanguard is uh, when your Vanguard attacks. With the, when your Vanguard, which is uh, Blaster or Arc Saver attacks, uh, you can uh, you must hit a Vanguard. If your Vanguard attack hit a Vanguard, return this to your hand. So essentially, it helps you safeguard another Blaster unit or if you need the Pancake Shield. Yeah. Next is uh, Blaster Javelin. So, Blaster Javelin helps you. Uh, it's the Naoki, so it's Naokami version. So this is during the battle it boosted. If you have a uh, Vanguard with Blaster Arc Saver in card name, this unit gets power plus two thousand. So it's a tanky booster. If your oh yeah your when your when your Vanguard is a Blaster Arc Saver la, so nothing much. Uh, the next one is when it boosts, if you have six different units uh, of Blaster, you can choose a rear guard. Uh, from an opponent's front row and bind it. So it binds an opponent front row unit, which uh, maybe helps you helps you helps you get rid of the intercept or something like that. Uh, so it's a good card if you have six master units, but by then I think your opponent's dying soon. So yeah, no difference. So next uh two Lucius or something like that. This is the great one that helps you superior cost stuff. So I play this because I play Dream Pinter. 
to a little holder. So this card is uh, when your grade 3 or greater Vanguard is placed on Vanguard Circle, you get to put this in your soul draw card, core card. So in case your blasters are depleting, I play this with this. So Jim Peter is when placed on uh, by ability. I think it's from hand, but not wrong. Hold on, let me check. So uh yeah, when placed by a card ability, so you can place from the deck or anything, but I, I have no way to place it from the deck. But yeah, you can put a great two or less from your drop zone to the bottom of the deck or into your soul. So yeah, this is a way to recycle your blasters. But uh, if you really in need of triggers, you can do you can put a trigger back. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but uh, so you can also put this in your soul. So in case like uh, you don't have blaster blade and you want to use Excopet, you can use it to put uh, blaster blade back into your soul. But other than that, uh, oh yeah, when it goes into the bottom of the deck, when 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 you put a card in the bottom of the deck, this one gets uh, what was five thousand. Not much um, you say. It's just in case the blaster fails, so you get to like just redo. So uh, yeah, these cards are here. So you don't need to use it; you can write them. Yeah. So if you have all the blasters, you can write them. Uh, uh, I saw triggers. Uh, it crits. Uh, some people play draws, so five draws or something, seven crits. But I play it crits because this deck is basically pressuring your opponent. Uh, this deck aims to kill your opponent on the first right, second right. But I think the last week's uh, in this game, I think you don't get to see too much of the pressuring your opponent because I didn't get most of the blasters off. But uh, the, there was a tournament that I went to where, uh, where I saw someone got the blasters off. Yeah, so you need to. Yeah, pressure your opponent uh, as early as possible. In some play testings, I did get the blasters all on first right. So if your opponent doesn't guard with a sentinel or just um, guard two to pass that kind, uh, you might win basically. And uh, so four heals for draws, your PG. So yeah, so this deck profile yeah ends here. Uh, it's a very fun deck. But if you're saying uh, competitiveness, I think the Alfred build is way better. It's more consistent. This is basically luck. Uh, more luck reliant. I mean, Vanguard is uh, standard format is pretty much um, uh, more luck. So, I mean, I uh, play Vanguard for fun, not to be very competitive. So, yeah, I, I like this kind of builds more. So. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please like it, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, uh, comment below, oh, sorry, comment video for any suggestions, uh, to make any suggestions to this deck so that it makes it uh, even better. Yeah. Um, so see you guys in the next episode uh, of uh, Profile Fridays. Thank you.